Okay, so this video today in reference of Pharisees, because today we got a lot of Pharisees that are among us still. They hold the characteristics and the personalities of the Pharisees. We all know who the Pharisees are, right? Pharisees were the one, well, they teach us of the law. They know the word of God, but they don't practice everything that's in the word of God, right? Remember, when Jesus was upon them, they didn't even know who Jesus was. And if they were in the word like they were supposed to be in the word, as they say they know the word, they would have recognized who Jesus was. And as many as others recognize who Jesus was, they couldn't recognize who Jesus was, right? So, although Nicodemus, he started to come around a little bit, you know, even though he knew the truth, but he still wanted to stay, you know, uh, within his uh, remedy, within, within his leadership, you know. He knew about uh, Jesus, you know, but he still wanted to stay to the teachings of the Pharisees, right? Pharisees love money, for one. They love to be seen. They love to teach the word, but they don't acknowledge it. And what I mean by acknowledge it is because they don't hold standards to how the Bible it, it want us to hold a standard, which is the decree of Christ, right? The true doctrine of Jesus Christ. Go over to Matthew 23 and let's chop it down a little bit. Bible, okay? Here we go. Then Jesus said to the crowd and his disciples, the teachers of the law, Oh, talking about the Pharisees. And the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. They want to sit on high. Watch this. So you must obey them and do everything they tell you, but do not do what they do, for they do not practice what they preach. Meaning that they do not practice what they preach, meaning that they'll tell you to do something, but yet they're doing it themselves. See, they the type will tell you, oh, don't be cursing, but yet they cursing everybody out. And again, we have these characteristics today. And these are things that you have to watch for. So therefore, you would know if you are moms of Pharisee, meaning that their characteristics and their personalities. And when you can identify between the two, and you would know what type of person that they are. This is why I love the Bible, because it tells us about people's personalities and it tells us about um, uh, people's characteristics. And so therefore, we can be able to identify with these certain people when we come across them. Right. So it says they tie up heavy loads and put them on man's shoulders, meaning that they put burdens on people rather than taking burdens off behind their regulations, their rules and how they teach and how they go about doing things. Right. You know, they, they want to preach about everything else, but they're not practicing the preaching. Right. Because, see, they, they just want to be seen. They say, hey, look at us. We are in high authority. Right. You know, and, and they love money. It's all about money. Too. It's all a show to them. They all want to. That's why they got these robes and and, and, and these uh, um, these uh, what you call them. I'm trying to think of a word for it, but I'm just not going to ponder on that too much. Well, basically, they want to be recognized. So they have these things where they show you that what type of in leadership that they are, you know, how far of a teaching that they come from. Watch this. They tie on my, a man's shoulders, but them themselves are not willing to lift a finger or to move them. You know, these are the same ones that wouldn't pray for you. They say they'll pray for you, but they're not praying for you. They're the same ones that want to teach you the word, but they're not living how the words tell us we should live by. And for one, and I wanted to continue to keep going on, right? Everything they do is done for men to see. See, they do everything for, look what I'm doing. See, uh, uh, today we got these certain type of people that, that do the same thing today. Oh, look what I'm doing. You know, they always want to put themselves out as in a show. They want to show showcase everything that they're doing so they can look uh, a certain way in the public's eye, right? You know, look what I'm doing. I'm building a church. Look what I'm doing. I'm, I'm writing a book. Look what I'm doing. I'm putting on revivals. Look what I'm doing. I'm, I'm, I'm feeding the homeless. Look what I'm doing. They just want to be seen. If you notice, they just want to be seen. It is always about them. It don't matter what they do. They got They can have a picture of them. Even right now, they could be posting a video and for the, um, the, uh, um, the introduction of it can be about them. Everything that has to revolve, even when they showing you a video, they got a, a split screen with is them sitting there listening instead of just showing the video because it's all about them. They just want to be seen. And that's what it's basically about. So they make their, um, and so this is what I, and, and, and this is what I want to show you. Watch this. I want to, I want to, I want to come down a little bit because these are some things I want to uh, get to the key points of it, right? Woe to you teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. 
You shut the kingdom of heaven in man's face, meaning that you know you you, you don't want to you don't want to lead them to the kingdom of heaven, right? Because see, you want to cut them off because if it's not their way, it's nobody's way. You know, if it's not how we want things done, then it's not going to be. You can't get in this uh, uh, sanctuary, in the synagogue, in the sanctuary unless you know we approve of it. You know, who are you? You know, you're not supposed to be here. You know, but it, but again, it's about. Helping those that are in need. And that's something that they don't want to do. Watch this. It says, you yourselves do not enter, nor would you let those enter who are trying to. See, so this is what Jesus is telling them. Because, see, the Pharisees. Hold on. I'm, 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 I'm going to get now I'm down to 16. I'm chopping the whole 23 up for you. Woe to you blind guiders, you say. If anyone swears by the temple, it means nothing. But if anyone swears by the goal of the temple, he is bound by oath. Oh, see? They praise the temple more than God because this is something that they built. This is our house. This is what we doing. And this is what you got to watch for. And basically, this is what this video is about. It's about identifying those who act just like the Pharisees. A lot of people preach the word, but they're not living how they're preaching the word because they're preaching to be seen. They're preaching for the gain of themselves. They're selfish. And if somebody was to really be around them that really know the word of God, they wouldn't even recognize them. And the reason why they wouldn't recognize them because they don't carry the same spirit. And the reason why they don't carry the same spirit because they don't know. They hang around somebody else who don't have the spirit because, see, that's who, who they your spirit identified to. That's why, let's for, for an example, right? If you're a Christian and you hang around somebody else that's pretty much uh, uh, not a Christian you're going to pretty much uh, hit on to that person. Like, you know, I don't think this person, you know, all the way, your discernment going to kick in, right? But then now, you know, when you see this person and then you see another person that's the same, they click. Even though you two don't click, but these two click because they have the same spirit. They're into the same things. They got one foot in and one foot out, basically. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. Teach, uh, this is just a quick lesson, just a, a teaching, just to show you that, just in case you run across these type of people, so you can identify to who these people are. And if you really, if you really want to know more about the Pharisee, go to Matthew twenty three and read it. And um, the Lord, He's speaking, He's talking to you, He's telling you about these people. You know, uh, these are the same people who said laughed at Jesus, told, got mad at Jesus because Jesus was uh, trying to help somebody on the Sabbath. They said, well, who are you? You know, why are you trying to help somebody on the Sabbath? You know, you're not supposed to be doing that, but like Christ and Christ, he, I'm talking about Jesus wasn't no joke. He had them words. He'd come back at you, you know. Uh, uh, Y'all think, I don't want to say that because a lot of you don't know my characteristics. I'm very raw, I'm blunt, and I speak bold, you know. And Jesus was the same way. I'm not trying to be, I, I want to be like Jesus, but I'm not trying to say in a way that, oh, Jesus is like me, basically, you know. A lot of people like to twist stuff. So anyway, and Jesus like basically told him, you know, <laughs> so I'm supposed to let somebody, uh, 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 I'm not supposed to save somebody who needs saving just because it's the Sabbath. This is what the Sabbath is stand for, you know. This is what I'm going to do. But you would rather, you would rather let a, 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 a donkey fall rather than going to uh, reach him up out of the hole. You know, so these are stiff neck type people. So I just wanted to bring that to your understanding. I just wanted to talk on that and expound on that. So when you run across some type of people, you already know what to expect. So again, you can read up on this, um, like I say, 20, 23 Matthew, it chops it down. And it gives you the understanding more than what I'm giving you. You know, if you just read it and it's in plain uh, day. And um, Jesus' words always in red, so you know that he is speaking in reference to telling you about these people. So I just wanted to show you that because we still have a lot of Pharisees walking among us today. And, and, and but in order to know their characteristics, read read up on the Pharisees, read what they're about, read what they were into, and then you'll get an idea about how this person is. Matter of fact, read the whole Bible and you'll know how people are, and that's how your discernment will kick in because you are now identified to the personality and characteristics of people. Hallelujah. All right, hallelujah. I appreciate y'all.